I really don't know why, but this guy reminds me of Robin Williams. Huh. To counter this guy, pick someone like Blitzcrank. Post 6, his silence is enough to delete him before he can even ult someone. Soraka can completely deny his booking bombs, and her silence again can prevent him from saving himself or someone. Thresh is also really great at stopping someone, even if they get ulted by Zillion because of his walls, from which they can't run. Sona for her heals and poke, Janna for her easily well-timed shields, and Lulu for her shields and polymorph make other good counters as well. Zillion's passive makes him store experience per 5 seconds, then he can right-click an ally to level him up by channeling for 1 second. His Q throws a bomb that detonates after 3 seconds. It can be picked up by all units that pass through it, and if 2 bombs get picked up by the same unit, then they'll explode and stun all affected enemies. His W is called Rewind, and it reduces both his Q and E cooldowns by 10 seconds. His U will slow enemies or speed up allies if cast on them for 2.5 seconds. His ultimate will place a protective rune on an ally that lasts for 3 seconds, and if this ally dies within this time, then they get revived with a set amount of health. If you're finding him in the bottom lane, just be careful about his constant bombing. A full set of ability usage, or his most effective combo, will cost him 205 mana, even at lowest ranks possible. So dodge while you can, until he can no longer bother you by being manaless. In terms of spells, he'll take either Ignite or Exhaust if being played support, but could also take Teleport if he goes mid. Ignite doesn't really work very well, since he can time his ultimate to save flaming people, but Exhaust still does a lot of work, and TP versus TP is a must in my opinion. As for Power Spikes, he's an all-around good champion due to the utility his ultimate will always bring the carries of his team. Level 2 when he can finally stun and hit 2 bombs is quite strong, and 6 is obviously a game-changer for him. Completing the Morel and Omicron in the mid lane is crucial for his mana issues, and Ardent Sensor for support will always allow him not only to boost an ally's movement speed, but also attack speed and damage as well. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his level 2 burst is quite strong, so be ready for it. Silence and stun him before he ults an ally or himself, and if he does, place the rune on an ally don't kill him. Instead, wait it out for 3 seconds and then, give him, and then give him the finishing touch. Ultimately, have fun doing it.